everyone. Now, if you thought it was impossible to freeze your summer memories in time, think again, because Maria has just the trick, and a really clever one, I might add. I do, and I have to tell you, Deb, so look at these, these footprints and these handprints. I have to tell you, I've become super emotional right now because JJ is starting, going to start summer camp, and so is Grant, and I just don't want them to grow. I, I want them to stay the same bad to forever. Say. I love. A, I, I just want Alexander to stay little too. I just like <laughs> I can't, and you can see this age is so precious. It's so Aww. fun. So I love taking them to the beach, and I just want to. Yeah. Make sure to, that, that I can just soak in this time as much as I can. So I want to keep this moment forever with a DIY that truthfully anybody can do this. So grandparents, parents, and kids of all ages, people of all ages, this is something that anybody could do. It's not just for the kids, but I will tell you the kids love this. I did this, Deb, when I was about Grant's age, about five. My mom still has my foot. I was. She say, still has so my foot from sweet. preschool. And These are footsteps that'll never wash they away. They will never wash away. Ever. Or, and handprints. <laughs> so how do we get started? What do we do? Okay. So this is really really fun this is just you start with a frame so when you get your frame just at the craft supply store uh, you want to go for one that's a little bit thicker like a shadow box type frame at least a half of an inch okay and so what I do so it comes apart you can see all like this these are all your pieces all right what you need I have one all the, um, already here because what I actually ended up doing was lining it with some uh, tape and so Why? that is going to be what we're, what, how we get it in and out of the frame. Oh, got it. And it okay. gives you a little bit more of an ability to make it a little bit more perfect. Okay. So I take the back of the frame and I pop it in because this is creating my base. Okay. So this is a really fun part then. This is, of course, something you can have the kids do. You dump in your sand. So you get some sand from your last beach trip? Exactly. And you just pop it in. And you can see for something like this, you don't even need a ton of it. So you have this here. And you could probably also buy that sand yes. from, from the hardware store. Yes. If you wanted to just okay. do this as a craft and not necessarily something from the beach you definitely could right. and the trick is you want it to be sort of damp Why so is think, that important because we are going to actually do our handprints in there and you want it to leave the impression in there Got it. so what I do you don't want to pack this too tight but you do want it to be even and you, so you use do the glass this, that's nice you use the glass and then I kind of go in smooth it out and I like that was a, that's very clever, clever that you thought of these little these little suction cups yeah. and they're really inexpensive you can get them just about anywhere so you get that uh, just like that okay. and what I would do then is you take your hand and you do your handprint. So you don't want to pack it so hard that you can't push the sand right. down because you want to be able to have a handprint. And you, could you do a don't want the sand anything. around it too perfectly either because the whole idea is that you exactly, did it at the end. Exactly, exactly. And then you add your little uh, decorations Shells if you that may, you may have collected so what's cool about the beach exactly. as well. So what's cool about this, Deb, is that you could actually do the impression or, and that'll the um, it'll, it'll keep the shape of that, okay. or you just pop it in there like that. Or like or this. Or even the other way. Yeah, or showing. the other way. Yeah, exactly. All right, now that's not going to stay on its yeah. own. We have to set it. And I see here on the table you're using something called Plaster of Paris. Yeah, so Plaster of Paris is really, really cool. It comes in a big tub like this, and it's a powder. So you want to make sure that you work in a well-ventilated area, and you want to work on a covered surface. Okay. And uh, this is going to this is going to happen quickly so you have to right. be committed as well so you want to make sure to mix carefully because it will kind of puff up quickly so, so if you, gotta... you yeah exactly so mm -hmm. you could wear potentially wear a mask but if you're outside you should generally be okay but it mixes up and ultimately what you're looking for is something that's like pancake batter there and that's go. what it looks like here so I have a big tub here you could use a plastic bin or something like that as well and it hardens pretty fast it hardens pretty <laughs> fast so this is what I'm gonna do I am going to pour it in just like this and as you can see, what I do after this then is it's like you're making it. a sand cake. I am making a sand cake. <laughs> and after this, what you do, I'm going to take this guy right here and smooth it out. Okay. okay. So you definitely want to make sure you do this in a careful way so that you don't ruin your little handprint that you already did. Or your footprint. And how long or your will footprint. we let this set? So sort of because cure. it is the summer weather, it should... Uh, actually be pretty quick it's almost okay. like uh, maybe an hour or something like that uh, but I would err on the side of caution leave it as long as you basically can okay. and usually because I have one here you can you yeah. can feel it you want to make sure that it's kind of just really set and ultimately too you kind of push down here to crack it out and it'll come out so Deb what's yeah, I'm cool pretty about sure this? plaster Paris is what we used in school when we did our handprints wasn't it exactly sure I did this is. as a kid like I said and it's that's why you kind of it's like you have to do this as a kid because then you have Look your handprint that. here and See? I have a little brush 
brush here that you can use, and there you go. You have this. Now, what about the freeform ones? Because I love oh, these over here too. That's kind of like the ones we did in school. Those are the ones we did in school. Yeah. So if you didn't want to make it into like the kind of this perfect frame like this, and even like glue it back into the frame like I did over there, you could just have a pile of sand like we have here. Do this and just put your handprint in. I would do a much bigger pile. And then just pour, but pour the plaster into here and just do the handprint. So just on a pan? Just on, yeah. You could but just do a have, big a pile of sand, push matter. your hand in, and just do the plaster in that shape, and then you're good to go. Make sure it's set, and you'll be able to just lift it off, and you'll be... When it dries. You have your memories in your little bitty forever. hands forever. So guess what? Then they will stay little forever. They will. At least in plaster. <laughs> For full instructions, <laughs> visit hallmarkchannel.com. Not them fully, just their imprints. I know, just their footprints. <laughs> footprints are always so cute.